Yes. Go Patriots. Super Bowl champions. Hey, guys. Super Bowl. Welcome back. Congratulations. Thank you. On your Patriots, Tommy Riles. I am wearing. Drinking a Boston lager right here. Oh, for Boston. Sam Adams for Boston and those Patriots on their Super Bowl victory. Woo! Okay, you guys. This is 39. This is what Tuesday night usually looks is that like. What for they you. Do? That's what they do at 39? You know, it's is Tuesday night. I, I've got some wrinkles happening. I just, I instead of doing my makeup up and smothering up my pores, I figured I'm going to do a little face mask tonight. So don't mind me and my little uh, volume is, enhancing. <laughs> this is 39 as this well. Is, this, this is 39. About 39. Look at that. Look at us. We're both turn, I'm turning 40. Tom, how was the August. Super Bowl? Tell everybody. Whoa, guys. Whoa. Yes, yeah, so I went to the Super Bowl. I'm a big Patriots fan. So I. it was a lifelong dream to go to the game. So what I so did you went. was. You I did went, it. I went. I got on an airplane and I flew to Atlanta. And my cousin met me there. My cousin from Boston. Yeah. And he drove down. Not from Boston. He lives in Virginia now. And it was amazing. Yeah. It was, uh, it was it was incredible. We did plenty of uh, tailgating with a whole bunch of Boston fans in the parking lot there. And then we walked up to the stadium and got in there like three hours early and watched the players take Tom, the field. Did you tear up at any point? I teared up when Tom Brady came out for warm-ups. And I was crying, thinking. <laughs> you guys, he I never cries. He I, never cries. Just I was in tears. I can't fake tears now. But I was like, how am I here? How am I here at the Super Aww. Bowl? Yeah. I'm happy for you. You never spoil yourself. It's about time you do something for you. Uh huh. I so, did it. I'm proud of you, Tom. Cheers, guys. And it Cheers. was a uh, go Patriots. It's fun. It was, they it won was, the thing. They won the thing. It wasn't the cleanest, most exciting game, but it's a great game if you like defense. A win is a win is a win is a win. Like this St. Bernard puppy of mine, who's getting so big. <laughs> That's Duke. This is hey, Duke. our puppy. So I'm wearing a little face mask tonight, y'all. I hope you don't mind. Y'all, you're Southern. I wish I was Southern. I like the Southern drawl. Mm -hmm. But instead, I'm from Chicago with a, like, grassy Midwest accent. But I wish I could say I had an accent and I was some Southern belle with some sweet talking charm. What is everyone saying? I can't read yep. the comments. Uh, we got people joining. People are saying the Super Bowl was boring. Yeah. Slow defensive battle with the best team coming out on top. Go Pats. Rams should have won. Said Amanda. Saints would have had it all. You know, it was interesting. I heard that like no one watched the game in New Orleans. Like the ratings were so low. Like the whole city um, boycotted. basically boycotted the well, whole thing. I feel like the, the two weeks before the Chiefs Patriots game and the Rams those were the um, games. Those the Rams the... Saints games were more exciting than the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. They were yeah. both overtime games, and they were. I mean, when the Patriots beat the Chiefs, that we didn't expect to beat the Chiefs, so that felt like winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, and then it was winning, a better winning game. Winning the Super Bowl was like just icing on the cake. Yeah. But beating the Chiefs and going to the Super Bowl was definitely the more exciting moment. Did um, you stay afterwards and like watch the the? trophies and all you that? You think I would have left before I don't know. I don't think we talked about that yeah. part. We stayed, stayed, we stayed for, for a good hour afterwards, and we saw the trophies. We took it all. We got there like three hours Did early. Did you go down low? No, yeah, it was a little tricky. Stay. Yeah. We might have missed some of it if we went down low, and they were probably still checking tickets. Um, but it was awesome. Oh, someone thought that it uh, the game really sucked. <laughs> um, <laughs> Boring game, blah, commercials. How were the commercials? I didn't see any of the commercials. I like the Verizon commercials that gave tons of love and shout-outs to first responders. Yes, well-deserved. From a family full of first responders, I appreciated Verizon. So good job, Verizon. We don't have a sponsor tonight, but I am giving Verizon love because I thought they – they had some really powerful um, commercials. So I thought they won the commercial contest. Who was the sponsor of the uh, – tell us who you guys, what you guys think was yeah, the best commercial. Who was the sponsor of the, the one that featured all the <laughs> – I couldn't really see it. I've got to watch it online. All the football players. 
Um, there was one with like a ton of football players. Yeah, no, that was Verizon. Oh, that was Verizon? The, all the football players that have been saved by first responders. Oh. So there was like one guy who like almost died in a car accident and his first responders were there and they surprised him and then the football player got all teared up. It was really good. Um, Duke is totally... So He's you freaking, guys... He's freaking out a little bit. A couple of weeks ago, we got this sweet puppy who slept all day and he didn't get into any trouble. And I'm like, gosh, I have the best demeanored dog. Yeah. Guess yeah, what? He's, he's, he's a little, little beast. He's tearing, <laughs> he's tearing open diapers now. He's getting oh, yeah. crazy. He's getting crazy, for sure. Doug agrees with you. The military commercial was the best yeah. one. Um, yeah, Chuck like Shine. It was like the, Here, the Pats went to a kid's birthday party, and at the end they all got goodie bags. And the mom, Roger Goodell, hands Brady a goodie bag and says, thanks for always bringing your kids to these things. And you get one too. Nice. Um, well, I always think so, it's funny for Goodell to hand off the trophy. Oh, he you got know, booed so loud. You know he stadium. hates the Patriots so mm -hmm. much. It probably burns so bad for him to like, and the fans. here, Belichick, here's another one. Or no, not Belichick. Um, Kraft. Look mm -hmm. at me knowing all the names. You got it. You're, look at you. You're a great. You're a great sports fan. So if oh, you're just tuning in, I work on my posture. I have a face mask on tonight. I'm working on my posture week two. This is 39, y'all. Some days I just don't want to wear makeup, and I'm like, it's a Tuesday night. I don't right want to put. I want to keep my pores open. Why is so. your lady sweating? Says Edward. <laughs> I'm not sweating. She's got some sort of thing on. I have this. It's supposed to plump up your um, collagen or something. I don't know. Um, speaking of, I'm going to put some little hand. Oh, she's doing the next. I got like a hand mask for my hand because I feel masks. like my hands. Do people do that? My hands are super, um. So do we have questions here yeah. or are we going down, down here? here? Okay, cool. So there's a, like a travel game of things. So I just grabbed a bunch of questions from All right. there. So we're going to hold up questions and ask questions and you guys are going to answer and we're going to answer and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So here is, oh, let me get the, the lighting right. All right. Well, Things hand that stuff. would be helpful to have during a zombie apocalypse. What? Things that would be helpful. Apocalypse. To I know. <laughs> Let me. I was going to do it a second time. I don't want any comments about how I said that word. Things that would be helpful to have during a zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse. Are you joking? Apocalypse. Are you like doing that in purpose? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Things that would be helpful to have during a zombie apocalypse. So it's the it's connected with the zombie. Apocalypse. Yeah, no, I know. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Ooh. I'm very <laughs> good at spelling, beer, and I've had, had three sips of beer. All okay. Right. I hand How masks. I hold this so it. Hand masks would be helpful in the zombie apocalypse. No. Uh, um. What would be helpful in the zombie apocalypse? What? How do you kill zombies? How do zombies die? Uh, well, they're fake, so I don't know the zombie movies that well. Like vinegar <laughs> no, or something? No, but like Walking Dead. Vinegar? Don't they have like, well, like I know vampires, you use like wooden stakes and things like that. So what, how do you kill, this is my spa night, guys. I got my face, hand mask, I got my face mask going. Doing it. Um, High walls and food. Okay. Coffee. Level-headed friends, my ex-wife, she can be the bait. Plenty of food and weapons. Um, back to Super Bowl, Corey said, I didn't know, understand why people say it was a bad Super Bowl. Just good defense. Yeah, Patriots, it, best it, defense ever yeah. in the Super Bowl history. Yeah. Um, a DeLorean with a flux capacitor. Knife to the brain. Knife to the brain. Okay, so I would want a set of um, really high – Quality knives to the brain. Yeah. Chain mail underwear, beer, a super intelligent, strong entourage. These are the ways. <laughs> beer. Yeah, just give me alcohol. I'm going to die. I, like, I would definitely not survive the zombie apocalypse, so just give me alcohol. Chainsaw. To make it all go away. Okay, now we got to peel this part. Uh... All right, we'll go on to the next one. What is this? Uh, what is this thing? What we got going on here? Have you just, done all this before? Do people do this? I I was showering and I'm like I don't want to put on makeup tonight. I don't want to do my hair and straighten it and 
I just wanted to like put a face mask on. Are you the first one to like buy these, or is this no, a thing? No, it's People a thing. People do their hands. It's it's a thing. You put them on What's your hands. What's the second and feet. one over there? No, your feet. You put little baggies on your hands and feet, and like here's the thing. My hands are more wrinkly than my face. So, like, I need a hand mask more than a face mask. Okay, what is it? All right. <laughs> Things Batman does when no one is looking. All right. I got the answer. Picks his wedgie. Whoa, you thought ahead That's on that it. one. No, I didn't. No, but as soon as I said it, I thought that tight spandexy costume you know he's got something riding up he's picking his wedgie things batman does when no one's looking um <laughs> he you love batman i know i love batman i'm not a batman guy or okay, a what would guy. superman do when no one's looking to him uh superman would what would superman do when no one's looking let me see if, ooh, my, my, my hand mask is cell phone proof. You look good over there, bud? Yeah. Superman Excuse would. Excuse you. Yep. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's see what the people think. I can't think of one. Yeah. I don't okay. know. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm not being Let me too read creative. the comments. Um, eat his boogers. Uh, Lois Lane. Uh -huh. <laughs> good one, man. Tina. Ma'am. <clears throat> ma Batman makes Facebook videos. Bat Dad. <coughs> Bat Dad is funny. Changes, Bat, Dad, Bat Dad crushes it. Changes the Batmobile oil. Touches Robin. Batman. Um, picks his noise. Knows I'm thinking. Uh, <coughs> A hand mask, someone said. <laughs> Doug hey, said it. You need to moisturize, you guys. I got, I was just Do you want me to just get some lotion? <laughs> Shut up. Um, someone said 1.5 million at the Patriots Parade today. Wow. Awesome. That's amazing. Guys, I went to the Patriots Hotel after the game. That's not soccer -esque. Um, and, and I saw the bus team bus pull up. And Bill Belichick was sitting in the front seat holding the Lombardi trophy oh. as all the, the rest of the team was kind of cheering behind him. And they all had these, like, fancy cigars. But tell them, awesome. what kind of face did Belichick have? A big smile. He was smiling. Yeah. When does Belichick smile? That's right. When he wins the Super Bowl, he smiles. That's what he does. Uh, Batman deflates footballs. Oh, hey -o. Puts cream on his chafed nipples, right? That leather suit has to provide some major chafing. Call the insurance company. All right, next question. Good one. Next question. Moving on. Thanks for the comments, guys. All right. <laughs> Things that will be launched at the 2025 Apple Press Conference. See, this is a fun one for me. Okay. Um, See, 20... that's why I picked it, babe. Yeah, thank you for that. I, just, I know you so well. You know, what I, you know what I think. Things that will be launched at the 2025 Apple Press Conference. Well, it's all going to be mobile. It will be... Um, how many, oh, that's six years. That's not that far away. Um, Can I get a hand mask while holding my mobile phone? Right. Can I, like, get moisturizing skin and, like, a facial while I hold my Apple device? Right. I think it would be, like, car-related. <laughs> What's, like... Uh, like a car-related phone thing that's or ridiculous. Or flying car. Well, 2025, it's not that far away. I think the phones will be waterproof by then. So they have to are worry waterproof. About, well, the case is. No. You can't put an iPhone in water. It's, yes. it's destroyed. Yes. Go swim with yours. No, no way. No, there's uh, the water. You guys, iPhones, are they not waterproof? They are. They you can go sure. in, uh, in the water with, with iPhones. Yes. Um, the new Apple toilet, flying cars. Nice. That's what I thought, Tina. Um, let's see. An eye brain, because people lack that these days. They will be made in the USA. Yes, Christopher Garth. That's what I hope. Absolutely. The f my phone is waterproof, says Tina West. Thank you. The, babe, I'm telling you, the, the latest ones are waterproof. That's I unbelievable. Think my, I think mine I could put in, in, in the water. Wait, aren't they made in the USA, Apple? I thought no. it says made in California. Maybe it's just the computers? Maybe. For reals. The computers always said made in California. Honey, 
if California made apples, we would not be so broke. That's what they used to say. No. So they China. maybe they changed it at some no. point. No, it's made in China. But they used to say they were made in California. <laughs> Apple colonoscopies. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Can be in up to three feet of water, says Tina West. Unbelievable. <clears throat> oh, so you're going to believe Tina. I told you. You guys, do you see this? This is marriage. I told him. I said, yeah, it's waterproof. Why, why would I believe you when I could believe Tina? <laughs> right? Choose your backup. Um. Ah, uh, Doug says Just, California is barely the USA. Designed in California. Exactly. All right. So That's designed very in California. Different assembled in China. Exactly. I see. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Because once again, when I said, no, they're not made in California, he didn't believe well, me. Look but at when you, you guys. Look at you. How could anyone believe you right now? <laughs> look at what we got going on. You drink a wine with these this hand, is, hand moisturizers. You know what? And beauty, it, face. It's a price you pay for beauty. You are okay? beautiful. You are very beautiful. I'm trying to avoid Botox. This is my attempt to stay young. This is 39. Woman. Um, <coughs> ooh, Doug says, Apple cancer scanner. That'd be amazing. <coughs> this is kind of overcoming a little cold. <coughs> These are the kids. I haven't, I haven't gotten mine. We yet. all have coughs, yeah. Yeah. Things you wish were healthy for you. Things you wish were healthy for you. Um... Pizza. Pizza's number one. Pizza and hamburgers. Like, well, wine, Pizza one glass of wine is healthy for you. But, like, several glasses of wine? Right. If you're, like, five glasses of wine a day keeps the doctor away. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, French fries. That's my, that's my guilty. Pizza all the pleasure. way. I think you got to go, got to go pizza. Pizza's the winner. <laughs> wait, Everyone's saying pizza. Someone says, um, wait, what's the question? You wish we're healthy for you. <laughs> Wine with gloves. <laughs> Touche, Jay. I see you. I see Good you. Good job, Jay. You are being heard. More beer. Hot wings. Burgers. Soda. Beer. Pizza. Double cheeseburgers. Chocolate. Work. Uh, Krispy Kremes. Oh, those are deadly. Um, Are hot wings that bad for you? Like a funnel, chicken wing? Funnel cakes. Yeah. It, a chicken it's, wing. It's deep fried. No, but you don't have to fry them. You can bake them. Um, the, for the ones, the breaded ones are deep fried. <clears throat> like you, get, you can get like naked wings. Like wings that are, so that's like a, I don't know. Yeah. Well, then you put the let's see if the people back you, will back you up. Are all wings fried? And uh, All wings we have ever eaten in life? You, like you're talking about baking, we've never had baked wings. We've always had oh, deep fried. If they're breaded, breaded if they're yeah. breaded, the like they the the naked ones, which I've had much much more of. Those are um, <coughs> those are not fried. I don't think, but I also don't know that much about how to make wings. Uh, things, you things you wish were healthy for you. Um, not all are fried, says Jay. Robert. Yes. Nope. Brad, the best are fried. Well, Tina said no, so you believe Tina. Yep, she's Tina's, got your back and my back. Tina's your baseline, so she is saying. <laughs> now, if it's a naked wing, uh, they can't be that bad for you. That's like that's, you're just eating chicken. Donuts, Trump. <laughs> um, wings are just chicken arms. Barbecue, exactly, barbecue. <laughs> Michael, put more words in my mouth. You put them on a grill, they're still wings. I fry mine before I bake them. Who says that? No, you can smoke them. Okay, I think we're we're covering the deep fried wings oh, what, topic. That's really good info. I didn't. We have to cook more. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. You I would should. like to. You should. I like cook to more. cook. I like you to cook. Take that on. I when I did that, I was on a podcast last week. Um, he talking was talking about, about you know, he makes they have this outdoor like grill kind of skill like big skillet. Kind of like you would see at, you know, Top Notch, any restaurant, they have the big, great, always got an outdoor one. Talking about these things called smash burgers. <sighs> got to try that myself. Smash burgers. Okay. Yeah. You do that, Doc. I got to cook. I got to cook more. You know the, you know the hamburgers? I like that, when he tries to say, like, we got to cook more to, like, Do you know the hamburgers? Hook me, but. Not hooking you. Look at, you're too busy being pretty. <laughs> no, this is me attempting. So, 
down the line, I can be pretty. The hamburgers. This is not pretty. I'm not saying this is pretty. This is this is the upkeep us women do in order to try to stay youthful and pretty. Yeah. We wear hand masks and we put on. You can't say we. You can't say we wear hand masks. Okay. Can I don't I, know if any many women have worn a hand mask. Tina. Any of you women out there, have you or ever you, worn, or paraffin, paraffin dips, or, hand mask, paraffin dip, or men, I don't want to do judge, you know, maybe men do. Say, if, <laughs> do you know anyone that has worn a hand mask or a, done a paraffin dip? Hand mask, paraffin very, dip. Please comment if you have. Let's prove this guy, this Pat's fan wrong. I think we're, we're, we're putting ourselves in the California corner right now. With these ter no. teraffin dips, teraffin dips <clears throat> and paraffin, hand masks. Paraffin, now say hand apocalypse. Mask. Apocalypse. See, I shouldn't have made you say it right after me. Tina, mic drop. If Tina has, we all have. Par Doug doesn't know D what a paraffin dip, yes. dip is. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Jay Newton says, wait till she wants to use those um, wax on you, bro. <laughs> I can't Nathan, even smile that big. Nathan I got this loves big paraffin big. dips at the nail shop. Always. Paraffin dips are like deep wax. They make your skin super soft. There's nothing wrong with it. Paraffin, paraffin is was a dip. dip. You dip it in. So paper. okay, so it's something you do at a, a nail salon. Yeah. Okay, so it's not something you've done here. I've just never even no, heard of a paraffin. No, no, dip. paraffin dips are okay. at nail salons. This. I just got at Walgreens. It was like a dollar, and you put them on, and they're supposed. To, what does it say? Deep, deep therapy, moisturize and soften. Um, yeah. I have like a um, I have a dry spot. It's like on my upper nose. I think it's on this side, and it's been dry for. I just I don't even do anything with it, but it's been dry for about a year. Every now and then, I'll put a little lotion on it. What am I supposed to do? Uh, put I've you a dry just, spot. Just for put like a full Aquaphor. Year. Aquaphor is good. For like a, but like remember when we started dating, he had major blackheads. Guys. Thank you, like, thank you. Bad blackheads. Thanks, guys. They're better. I they're mean, they're so they're they're fine. I think I'm just busy, so I'm not like. They're fine. I'm not dissecting your pores anymore. Oh, look at the dog. Someone put a dog in. The <laughs> yeah. Say what? He's well. He doesn't. They don't want. Is he talking about paraffin dips? Aquaphor is great for tattoos. Never <laughs> eat paraffin dip. Thank you, Tim. It's not a cheese dip. No, you're right. Uh, Tim, uh, Doug asked Lucy, is that the Dollar Tree special wine glass? Negative. I think I got it at like Marshall's or something, so not too far off the Dollar Tree. Uh, deviated septum. All right. <coughs> Here we go. Tommy is sexy. Thank you. Things you were thinking about while your parents were yelling at you. Whoa. Um, things you were thinking about while your parents were yelling at you. So you guys go ahead and drop it into the comments. Things you were thinking about when your parents used to yell at you. I'm trying to think. I remember my mom, God rest her soul, but when she'd get mad at me and my sisters, she'd get like a super, super high-pitched screeching voice but it was so funny that we'd <laughs> we'd start laughing so the three of us to add fuel to the fire we already were getting the vacuum attachment or the wooden spoon was coming our way and she would start screaming <laughs> and we couldn't help but laugh because her voice would take on like this like elf like high-pitched can't even describe it but it was really funny and then we would just get spanked even harder yeah i love my mom i totally deserved it i don't look at my spanking childhood and think i was yeah my mom <laughs> my mom had the she had a wooden spoon i don't know that it was ever, i don't remember it ever actually being used but it was more of the threat of but if they took it out I got it and then we would run so what was those was a question what was i thinking <laughs> when my parents were yelling at me uh i want to avoid the wooden spoon i guess um not that it happened that often I was a pretty good kid, Liz. Yeah. I was a pretty good kid. Okay, so this is what other people... Um, what's for dessert, says Rebecca. Um, do they know I'm going to sneak out later, says Doug. Video games, says Robert. 
Jorge says, how long will the punishment be this time? Going out for cake. Um, how long is it going to take? I wonder what my crush is going to be wearing tomorrow, says Rebecca. Am I going to get the belt or the spoon, Brad? It sounds like you were you grew up in the same house as me. <coughs> are they aware that eye cameras don't exist yet? Uh, are you done yet? I bet I still sneak out, even though they're yelling at me for sneaking out. How does this hurt you more? <laughs> this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Like yeah. parents would say oh, that, the and then they oh, beat you. I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "How is this hurting you more?" That's funny. Uh, can't whoop if I hide the belt. Oh, Darren. Hey yo. No, all my dad had to do. This was all he did. He would say, that's it. And he'd stand up and start to pretend to unbuckle, and we would. Just fall in line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, our kids walk all over us. I mean, I, I'm not saying I want to give them the belt, but there was the, my, my, uh, my family, my parents ran a tight ship. Yep. And it was effective. <laughs> it's, it's strange how. Do you like my hand? There's mask? Duke. It's strange how like uh, controversial yeah. punishment is now. I know. I don't want to get us off onto a well, whole other tangent. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. I guess it's only because people. Doug says he does that. You do the belt like, oh, that's it. And then. <laughs> do they know spoons is dirty in the sink? Ah. I know. The wooden spoon, that was nothing. The vacuum attachment had little ripples. Me and my sister would compare, like indents. Like, I only got three indents. But y'all, I, I feel like I deserved every one of those. Um, yes, okay. Duke has gained some weight. Duke is up about, Duke, about 10, 15 pounds <laughs> since last week. Duke is huge, you guys. Let me, let me give you a little size chart. I'm not going to be able to hold him for much longer. Be, yeah, you, Bear, what do you think? You have another month of holding him? He's turning into a big guy. That's like he's got like an adult face. Who now. is that? Who's that in the monitor? Do you see yourself? Oh, there's Duke. <laughs> Hi, baby. That's our Duke. All right, move on to the next question. Hi. Things you say you will never do again, but always do. Um, things you say you'll never do again, but always <laughs> do do again. Um, no, these gloves are probably not safe for him to chew on, Michael. Good point, Luce. Ah! I mean, they're just moisture. They're just lotion inside. He was eating my daughter's diaper earlier. He, yep, that's nasty. Right? That's nasty. All right, so things you say you'll never do again, but always do. Um, I think, like, drinking too much, right? I think feel like everyone always does that one again. We went that's wine one. tasting for my birthday. I'm like, I'm never drinking again. Two days later, I'm having a glass of wine. But not like that. Like, I don't, I never want to get that drunk, like, super drunk. Like, you were at your holiday party. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Things I agree. we'll never do again. And I haven't. Yeah, but then you do again a couple of years later or a year later or something. <laughs> you forget, and then you're like, oh, this is why I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Okay, let me take these off, because I don't want, I don't want you. Things Maybe. you'll say. All right, let's see what the people are saying. Um, go to Starbucks. Watch the NFL. Oh. Stop spending money on clearance items. But they're on sale. They're on clearance. Eat fast food. Take my kids to restaurants. Oh, Giovanni, I'm with you, Giovanni. man. Giovanni. It's the worst. We, I don't understand we why. We let time go by, then we go. I don't understand why you pay money to, <laughs> to have a horrible time. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. We did that for my birthday. It was so stressful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then our friends showed up and they were right next to us so we couldn't like yell at our kids or like mm -hmm. I felt like I couldn't be as physically visibly stressed out because our friends were right next to us this is true they were pretty good at that point By and, that then, point, and yeah. then our friends kids are pretty good it was just arriving there all right should I, you want to take the dog yeah, out or yeah, should yeah. I? all right uh we just got it it's an emergency for the dog she runs in the other room before she has an accident uh, things you say you'll never do again. Invest in Bitcoin, says Christopher. And if you guys are uh, just joining us, 
things to say you'll never do again, but always do. Um, invest in Bitcoin. Tell my kids I'm not going to trek you again. Buy crap on Amazon that my kids want. Oh, Doug, don't fall for it. Skydive. Oh, Christopher Garth, it's the worst. You've done it multiple times. Trying horseradish. Free climb off cliffs. <laughs> my goodness. Take my kids to restaurants. Eat fast food. Thank you, Muendis, for the mushroom melt. Now, I like fast food, but the mushroom melt sounds not good. Uh, watch the NFL. Go to Starbucks. Buy scratch tickets. And thanks, Derek, for saying that the Pats suck. They actually uh, do not suck. They won the Super Bowl. But I can understand why people get angry about the Pats. It's all good. I get it. When there's a dynasty like that, it's not fun for the rest of the league. All right, next question. We put down the question. You guys answer the question. We are going to go with things you shouldn't name your sports franchise. All right. Things you shouldn't name your sports franchise. So answer down in the comments down there. What are some things you shouldn't name your sports franchise? I mean, there's some weird sports franchise names, such as, I still feel like the Rams is kind of a strange name. Los Angeles, what is the background of that one? I do not know. Uh, but things you shouldn't name your sports franchise. Oh, yeah. Someone puts up a picture of Tommy Brady right there. That's what it's all about. Portland Pickles, the Rams. I didn't know they could put pictures on The Amarillo, yeah, oh yeah, it is, oh, it was a reply to a comment. Um, <laughs> the Amarillo <laughs> Sod Poodles. Well, because Darren said that the Pats suck. So, so then Derek put that up. Oh, gotcha. Go Patriots. Um, I'm, I'm a Patriots fan by default because my Bears don't perform year after year and Tom is really happy when the Patriots win so by default the saying happy husband happy life I root for my Patriots I even kind of learned a thing or two you got it you, got, like the you know the players the, like, you know the, the owner's name yeah you watched it this year I totally watched you watched it I was looking for you I was happy for you um a lot of people saying the Patriots um things you shouldn't name your your sports franchise I mean, like... The Pelicans, I feel the like, Browns, the Savannah Bananas. Fair. I feel like weak animals, like the Cubs or <laughs> um, Dolphins. Like, like, it's not like you look at, like, you would want, like, the Beasts and the... The Dolphins are our son's favorite team just because he likes the name the Dolphins. I know, but... But it's, you're right. It it's doesn't a seem like a team. fighting... Yeah, I feel like, feel like sports franchise, thing. you want, like, a strong name or team so like the cubs i wouldn't name a franchise the cubs because cubs are small and meek and weak is that just because you really don't like the cubs i'm from you... the north side of chicago mm -hmm. speaking from someone from the south side of chicago oh that's In my you. face mask the snails i can't believe i went on this with this <laughs> so the, yeah it's all good <laughs> The snails. Um, <laughs> the snails. Slow, right? Katie Wood says, Cubs suck. We know Katie. Yes, okay. Katie. I miss you. Packers, McBalls. <laughs> McBalls. Um, what would you say? Um, I, my mind went to, I mean, the remote controls. I'm just looking around the house. What will we not name a sports team? Puppies. Um, the pups. Like anything that's weak. Like right. The students. Like, the, the like the calves or the. Um, they have the calves. The cubs, or like. What is it? What is the it? colts are baby um, baby horses. Yeah. So the <laughs> the goats. The goats, unless you're Tom Brady. Actually, that would and work. Then yeah. You are the goat. That would work. Uh oh, Duke's Duke's biting a little bit. <laughs> um, My dog's a biter. Okay, next question. Are we almost done? Yeah, we can find okay. a couple more. Okay. Things that are hard to put back together. <clears throat> Things that are hard to put back together. Hey, Duke. Good well, boy, Duke. I know what's hard to put together is a kid's kitchen for Christmas Eve on the day before Christmas Eve. We almost lost it. You can't. Well, listen. We almost. You can listen. You guys over this kitchen. It almost ended us as we know the, it. <laughs> uh, the D word's a little strong, but but here's what you don't do. 
on Christmas Eve, which is also my it dad's. It was day before Christmas. It was the day before Christmas Eve. Okay. So my parents were here, and then Lucy just said, you know, sometime I that said, morning. I said, here's a box. Can you build can this Can you go kitchen? build this kid's kitchen? So I took it out, and there were about, you know, about a thousand pieces mm -hmm. to it and instructions that were barely in English. And um, it was it's bad. All it my was talent. that, and I'm not, and it's not my talent. It's not my talent doing that. So I knew, so I got in my head and I got pretty frustrated. And it took me, I put, I tried for an hour and I built one tiny part of this entire kitchen. Which it took was me wrong. an hour to do it. Which was, thank you. Wrong. And I tried really hard. So after an hour, I just decided that I didn't, it wasn't worth it. Uh, my daughter didn't know there was going to be a kitchen, so it wasn't worth it to spend my entire Christmas Eve Eve building a kitchen. Well, so I gave up. Your, and I went and told Lucy. Your daughter, and your Lucy, daughter, all she asked for from Santa Claus was a red kitchen. Well, and meanwhile, as I'm building this thing, you're just taking a nap. And was. it was a was it was a horrible that. hour, and I got in my head, and and then I asked you to come help me. And no, then, he and comes, he actually, wakes me up from the nap. He's like, "I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. You can do it." I said, not "I can't. I could not. I, I could not do it." I'm so mad. And then well, I I was it. so mad. Then I spent four Over hours four, building it. Four or five hours. Four but, or five but hours, I, but, but I, I built it. But I spent those four or five hours with my parents, and I'm so happy, so happy that I did. I spent. The four to five hours with my parents and my kids. True Aside story, from you, the ones that I love the most. I got it. Had a wonderful on, time. I got it on sale online, no joke. And a few days before we started to build it, oops. I um, a few days before we started to build it, I went to Home Goods and there was the kitchen, the same exact kitchen, all built, all assembled. But it was fifty dollars more, and I'm thinking, oh, I got a good deal. Tom would be so proud of me. I got this great deal, and then we started building the kitchen, and I was like, totally worth buying it pre-assembled or already assembled. What? Mm -hmm. Let's see what other people are saying. Uh, things that are hard to put back together: shattered elbow, a suitcase after after a long trip. How did I put all that stuff in there in the first place? Um, Lucy, what kind of wine are you drinking? Um, it is a Pinot Noir, and it's not mine. A friend left it because I ah. usually do like a Cabernet. I'm not a Merlot fan. I know. Ah. Um, <clears throat> I have heard of Pure One and Ports. Yeah, like you. Ah. You listen. Ah. Well, that was hey. that was worth. Do you want to hey. get on camera? Coming back up, Duke. Duke is back. She has grown. She's Guess who's back? Pounds. Oh, you're showing no, that. You're showing the privates for a second, oh, but maybe they were too low. Okay, is that lower, legal? We'll lower the screen a little. Yeah, there he is. There you go, Duke. All right, and then we go on to our next question. Oh. What job did you have during your teenage years? What job did you have when you were a teenager? My first job. Well, was I a teenager? I was serving pizza during bingo at our church. So they had senior citizen bingo. How the years looking? Are you good? Oh. They're so dirty. Senior, oh, what are you going to do right now? Nothing. I'm just looking. Well, how are you supposed to clean dog's ears? Oh, my God. You just hose them down? I, uh, <laughs> what are we doing right now? Don't do it. How do us. you clean dog's ears? How do you clean dog's like ears? This is a write-in a write-in answer. Yeah, you guys tell us. How do you clean dog's ears? I feel like Q-tips. We're, we're a little worried about our dog's ears right but now. But, like, with water, or is there, like, a s solution? Um, what job do you have during your teenage years? All right, so I was, yeah, I served pizza. At, at the bingo at our church. That was my first job. I was probably 12 or 13. Um, my first real job, the boardwalk in uh, Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, where I was spinning the big wheel and giving out prizes and having a wonderful time. Had a microphone, okay. got used to talking onto the microphone, which has led to my career now. Chris, um, Christopher was a lifeguard. Doug was movie theater cashier, custodian, Tim. Um, Mine, David, nice. Jay worked in the grocery store at 15 selling produce. Q-tips and wash rags. Okay, thank you. Uh, family uh, gar garbage company. Wash Friday for free. Water. Okay, don't get too much water in it because it can cause an infection. Thank you for that. Uh, Carl's Jr. Corn detestler. 
Ooh, I like detasseling corn. It's like, right? Detasseling? Oh, just yeah. taking that. Yeah, I like that. I like doing it's husker, that. isn't that husking? Oh, that's maybe that's it. Detasseling? Maybe that's it. Husker? husker? Maybe um, that's it. I love people that, <laughs> one comment, Patriots, I'm out of here. <laughs> gets them so angry. Yeah, so people angry. don't. You probably are going to have a I low won't, I viewership. I won't wear this next week. Don't yeah. worry. But I have. they just won the Super Bowl. It, his viewership goes down because he's wearing Patriots. Oh, yeah. Um, you got all those names? Uh, wet yeah. wipes. I was at 14. I worked as like a barista at a coffee shop. And I'm convinced that's why I don't drink coffee today. Is I would wake up at like 4 or 5 in the morning and make coffee. And bagels and like fresh bagels and donuts and like croissants and mm -hmm. make coffee and I don't drink coffee. Yeah. That's fine. And that's probably did you why have, I don't did like you drink coffee morning. then? No. 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 <laughs> I, I know. Master. Um, I know. I'm ready. What are the most important qualities of good parents? Whoa. Oh. Um time to get serious for a minute. Let me get serious. Well, I think Making your kids feel safe and secure is is mm -hmm. one of the most important qualities. Yep. What about you? I think um, safe and secure. Yeah. I think time uh, and quality says Lito. Great. Yeah, spending time with them. You do a good job of that. Like you, like when you do, you get like. When we're in, Hands we're in. On. We're playing a game. We're doing a thing. Yeah. I'm not like I don't like get down and roll on the ground and wrestle and I'm with them all day long, mm -hmm. but I'm not like as as hands on play as you are. Yeah. Uh, assertiveness, patience, communication, fun. That's what I was gonna say, Tina. I'm like the, the first thing that thought to my yeah. mind was fun. Um, yeah, you want them to have a good time growing up, right? You gotta gotta use your discipline, which we can get better uh, at. Aw, Larry has an eight week old puppy too. Nice, yeah, Larry. My puppy was so sweet and chill, and he has turned into a master beast in the last couple days. The Duke. Kind of structure, but not militant. Yeah, the ability to not go insane. Well, that Larry, that is a trait I need to learn on um, being more stubborn than the kids <coughs> manners yes ma'am no ma'am patience I'm with you seven five and four I got eight seven and three and I need patience with them mm -hmm. all day all day or er day are, are we gonna keep going we'll do two more oh. I'll do two more oh uh, how different were you 10 years ago? You know how Facebook has that 10 years ago picture? Well, we were getting married 10 years ago. Right. So how so different? So I was a lot thinner. I didn't need to wear face masks. How different were you 10 years ago? Well, we had just gotten, so we would have been four weeks, four, four months married or so. Got married in, no, more than that. Um, okay, so uh, six months married. We're about six months in the yeah, marriage. Yeah, six months in. Mm-hmm. Um, we, pretty young and pretty naive pretty and pretty petty and you had a full-time job yeah. working long at Lucy worked much longer hours than I did worked at a, uh, very, uh, a very busy desk we'll say and yeah. so that was that so I was but home I was, earlier we had Bo then I was thin I was on point I didn't have any of this happening I could just what is like that? effortless so you, you know oh to be young again Ten years ago, I didn't have my beard. I, hey, what are you doing back there? We lived in a much smaller place. We had our little condo then. Did we, we have Bo we, yet? Yeah, Bo. I don't think we had Bo yet. Not six oh, months no? in. Well, we had no. we had Barbara. We had Bo before we were married, maybe even. Because we got Bar Barbara was born about oh, yeah. a year after we got married. I think we probably had Bo. Well, we didn't have Bo when we got married. No. We definitely didn't have bow. We, we um, <laughs> yes, Doug. This is a beard, all right. Uh, no, it's. I guess it's more of like a scruff to a scruff. A scruff. Scruff. Hey, Tom, what is it? A zombie? What? Apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I can say that. That's fine. It's no, no worries. I got it. How are you guys different ten years ago? 
Um, thanks, uh, Nuka, for saying that we're so cute Aww. and so beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Look at my bride. Um, five o'clock shadow. Thanks, Joey. That's what I got. Uh, Doug bought his oh. first house ten years ago. Uh, ten years ago, I was in my short but fun wild stage. <laughs> Rebecca, you've settled down now, Rebecca. So Patrick, uh, Larry, thirteen and four year old. Maybe those yeah, were his I kids. Think that's the previous oh, different question. question. Okay. Yeah. Go back down. Other way. Yeah. Ten years ago, I was happy. Hmm. Sorry, Mike. Well, Mike, get your happy back. Well, um, I don't know if they're still replying to Darren about the... Uh, ten years ago... T wait, ten years ago, were the Patriots winning Super Bowls? I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> this is what they do. Um, well, they won three... They won in 2003, 2004... In 2006, or no, 2002, 2003, and 2005, I think. Those are the three years they won. They lost to the Giants in 2007. So 10 years ago, it would have been 2009. Uh, no, they lost in 2007. They lost in 2011. It's actually 10 years past without them winning a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. 2004 to 2014, really, a decade past. Really hard. And everyone thought they were like they had been winning the whole time, but they hadn't. But then they did start winning all the time. It's crazy. Was that a hard year, hard ten years for you, not having a super? It was uh, Patriots a, Super Bowl win. The only one that was tough was when they went. They were undefeated, and then they lost to the Giants. Oh, was that, that, was that the head yeah. in the football? Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. A, it was a ridiculous catch. Yeah, you might have cried that night. I might have cried. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't cry ever, except. In sports. Except when Tom Brady takes the field and I cry. <laughs> That's it. Um, all right. We'll do one more question. Um, what do we want to outlaw in our relationship? Oh. Face masks? <laughs> um, let's see. What are some people saying? Let's see. We're looking for one more. Maybe. Question. Let's see. Super Bowl 52 was the best Super Bowl of all time. No, no. Well, 52. No. Is that the I think the be, that, that was, was last year. This 53, so the Eagles. I think Super Bowl 50 was the greatest of all time. When Peyton Manning, Thanks, Jay. underdog of all time, came back and won it for the Broncos, and everybody thought he was all washed up. The Colts let him go, and... That was a good Super Bowl? Yeah, because Peyton Manning won. He he ended on top. Right. And that was the year I needed hope in my life, and he provided hope. Peyton, and that was like this one. That was the defensive Super Bowl, because Peyton couldn't do anything. Um, all right. Final question. If Outlaw had, Patriots fanhood, says Doug. <laughs> if we if you had to if you had to move one, why are you being forced to move? And two, where would you live? If you could live anywhere, where would you live? Loose? Well, I think we talked people about people at like, home. Um you could live anywhere in the world and maybe take like family out of it. Right? So, so it's like a um Yeah. So it's, like a, so it's like a so it's like a what's an awesome location to actually live. So okay. forget about family, forget about jobs. If it was family related, somewhere in the Midwest close to my family. Yep. Um if it was non family related, I would do like Nashville or Colorado. Yeah. Well those are those are like hip places. Yeah. Nashville and Colorado. What do you but like in Colorado? Like, Denver? I like, no, I like those places before they were hip and popular. Yeah. Those are uh, Austin, yeah. Washington, uh, Peak District, England, Texas, from Texas to Washington in three weeks. Washington nice. State or Washington, D.C.? Yes. Congrats on the move. Love it. Awesome. Um, I'd move from Ireland to somewhere warm. Michael Quigley, I love your country. I would move to Ireland. Ireland. Love, Ireland, it's so, like, we live in Southern Cali California that is so overpopulated. 
and crowded and busy and hustle and bustle. And we were in Scotland. I've been to Ireland a couple times and England. Hey, buddy. And when you go out into the countryside, I don't know, there's something so beautiful and peaceful and green and the air quality is great. I, so, I'm, I'm go, I'll go with Ireland. I've never been, but I like the adventure of just figuring things out. So Let's I would go. just move somewhere that Michael. we didn't even know where Michael, we were quickly. going. Michael, so. quickly. That's house swap. Quigs. We're you heading come, to your town, Quigs. You come to Southern California, us, you, we'll go to Ireland. Quigs, give us some details on your place out there in Ireland, and we'll figure out if we're going to do the transfer. <laughs> when do we do it? This summer? When do we do it? Is it like a month long? I don't know. No, no. Why is your Quigs, pet, we're going to switch. Why is your hat tilted? We're going to switch. This is Ireland. This is in Ireland. Everyone goes like that, right? <laughs> Ireland? <laughs> not at all. That's not what they do? Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, Anna, we're in California. We're in California. Southern California. Southern California. Thanks so much um, for watching and entertaining our ridiculousness. This is 39. This is me trying to hold on to my youth. I'm wearing mm. some face masks tonight. Usually I put up my hair or makeup and... Just needed a night off. Mm -hmm. my, my my skin needed to breathe, and Tommy needed to rock his. This Patriots. is thirty nine. Uh, this is, this 39. is the age that Tom Brady was when he won his previous Super Bowl. Now he won one at forty one. He's the oldest quarterback ever. I know. To win I love I love old quarterbacks that win young, like cocky rookie. Beating those twenty one year olds. Yeah, screw them. Yeah. Screw that. That would be cool if he actually won. Especially now that I'm almost 40. If he's 42, there's going to be, I guess there aren't that many pros that are 21. But if he gets to 44, the pros that are 22, beating guys half of his age. That'd be. Woo! All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See Thanks you later. Thanks so much for watching. That Bye. Was date night.